everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a tiger cake. Now this tiger cake not only looks like a tiger on the outside, it also has a surprise inside on the inside with a tiger cake pattern. I can't wait to show you how to make this. It's really easy. Let's get started. To make the cake, we're going to be using three different colors of my vanilla cake batter. I've dyed some of it with black, I've also dyed some orange, and then I left a small amount of the vanilla cake batter, just this plain color. I'll put a link to it in the description box, and if you wanna use your favorite um, recipe for vanilla cake, go right ahead. Now I also have colored some vanilla buttercream. Now you need a large portion of orange vanilla buttercream in order to cover your cake. You're also going to need some that is just left plain or put um, white coloring in. You're also gonna need black and yellow. And I'll put a link to the description box in the description box for the vanilla buttercream as well. And you're also gonna need some of the regular sized marshmallows. Up first, we're going to make the cake. Now I have an eight inch round cake pan here and you're going to need two of these. So what you see me do in the one cake pan, you need to repeat for a second cake pan so you have a double layered cake. I also have my colored, bat my colored batters out here and just a regular scoop and you can pick any of these scoops up at like dollar stores or kitchen scoops and I'm just going to start to layer my colors. I'm starting with black, you don't have to, and on top of the black I'm putting the orange, and you'll notice that I'm putting it directly on top, and it's just going to spread with the weight. Now I don't want the white yet, I'm going to put a couple of different, like a black and then an orange and then another orange and then a white, because there's not a ton of white in the tiger and I want to imitate it as close as I can. So as I continue to do this, again you're going to be doing this twice and I'm going to put it into the oven at 350 degrees and it's going to bake for about 35 to 45 minutes and just so you're not confused I just use a smaller scoop so that's why I put double ones there and you can use any size that you want and so yes I'm going to put them in at 350 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes. So my cakes have baked and cooled completely and I've leveled them off so you can see the cool design inside. Now you'll notice that I placed the bottom layer off center on the board and that's to allow for the marshmallows that are going to go around it as the tail to have enough room because of course you don't want them falling off the board. So what I'm going to do first now is put a layer of buttercream in between the two cake layers. So I'm just going to do that with the orange color here. And then I'm going to pop the second one on top. So I'm gonna spread that in there. And of course, like if you prefer to put like fruit filling or something in this, I wouldn't really recommend that for this type of cake because you do want like the shock of the surprise inside. But you could use a different color of buttercream if you prefer in the inside. And so I've got the orange on there. And now let's cover the entire thing in our vanilla orange buttercream. Once we have the orange buttercream all over the cake, we're going to now start kind of just adding a little bit of dimension to the color. So I've got the yellow buttercream and I'm just going to do two stripes here down the center. And this part is kind of easy because you don't have to have it like be super neat or anything. And I also am gonna continue it down the front and down the side, like or down the, the front and the back here. So I'm gonna take some of this off like that. And then I'm going to take the white and put a single stripe down the center, like that. I'm just gonna switch spatulas here. And then do the same thing and blend in the white. And I'm just going to give it that kind of faded look here in the center, just like this. So I'm gonna do it down the front and the back here, just to continue that look all through the cake. Now we're going to tiger stripe it up. So I've got my black buttercream and I just took a really small nick out of the end of it because I wanna have control over the thickness of all of, my all of my stripes. So I'm gonna turn it sideways and then I'm just going to squeeze, I'm gonna start the ones in the center first because it's kinda of easiest to go from there. Now as I'm pulling them away, I'm kind of pulling thicker so I'm getting a little bit more icing at the end of that pull. And then I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm just going to gently brush the edges here. And I'm gonna do it in this direction first, kind of pulling away into that side of the cake, pulling like this, and then I'm gonna flip and then pull to this side. And you'll notice I haven't gone very far at the front because I really want the front to remain 
uh, much narrower than the back side. And then obviously this would go all the way down the side as well. So now I am gonna go over to the other side because I also found it easiest to kind of mirror what I did on one side and then the other. So that's just a little bit, a little tip there. I'm just going to do the exact same thing. And if you end up with like a little blob like that, just use your paintbrush and just pull it straighter. Like the tiger stripes aren't supposed to be um, symmetrical or like perfect by any means. So you can just play with this. And once your buttercream has crusted, then you've kind of reached your maximum amount that you can actually move the buttercream around. But until that point, you're totally good to like mix any mistakes up and kind of, you could even go over top with the yellow and the white again if you really needed to. So I'm gonna cover the whole cake in all these stripes and then I'll be back to show you how to make the tail. Now that I have the stripes done, we're going to work on the tail, which is going to go on the side of the cake here. I put my remaining orange buttercream into a piping bag so I could have a little bit more control. So I'm just going to kind of start by the front and I'm just going to put all the marshmallows onto this just to give it a little bit of an anchor here. And so then it's going to take about um, probably, get to the front here, um, 12 to 13 or maybe it just depends on how tight you get it pressed against the cake. So once you have them all kind of lined up and all the way around, I'm going from the front to the back. I'm gonna cover all of them in orange, except for this very first one. I'm gonna leave that one white and then cover it in black after. So I'll just put these ones out here. And then what I'm gonna do, whoops, I almost did it orange. And I'm going to cover all the rest of these ones. Just kind of go over it with the piping bag first to make it a little bit easier. And then just use your spatula um, to cover them to cover the marshmallows in the orange buttercream so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what's next so with the main part of the tail covered in the orange buttercream there's a couple of things we're going to do next one is that we're going to cover that front one all in black so I'm just going to do the same thing just giving you the rough run through use my spatula to cover that part in all black and then I also want to do and mimic what I did on the top here so I'm going to take my yellow buttercream and I'm just going to do a thin stripe here just like this, and you can patch that up. I'm not squeezing anymore, I'm just kind of dragging it. So you don't need too much on there. And then I'm just gonna go over top of it with a little bit of white, like this. And then I'm going to take um, just a angled spatula here, and I'm going to just kind of swipe it like this to flatten it out. And then I'm going to add my tiger stripes on the tail, just like I did on the top. So once I've got this tail finished, I'm going to cut into the cake and show you the completely finished cake. So there you go everybody, how to make this surprise inside tiger cake. So I slice into the one that I have just an extra one of so that you guys could see the actual cake pattern on the inside. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like these crazy animal cakes, make sure you check out my pink zebra cake and my rainbow leopard cake. I'll put a link to both of those in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all again next time.